All right, here's another v vector decomposition problem. I got a uh, horizontal vector f, and I want to split it into components along the e hat 1 and e hat 2 directions. And they're arranged like so. The difference between this problem and many of the other problems we've seen is that here I'm not giving you the orientation of e hat 1 e hat 2 in terms of some angle theta. Instead, I'm giving it in terms of two lengths, a and b, that are sides of this triangle that's sort of oriented uh, in a way that aligns with the e hat 1 direction here. right? So now I'm going to have to write this ve vector decomposition in terms of a and b. So this makes the things a little bit different. Uh, but the general approach is the same. So what we're going to do is I've got this triangle thing here again, but let me f let me let me create the the force triangle that I've been talking about the whole time. So I've got this vector f, which is horizontal. It's to the left, and I want to write it in terms of vectors uh, that are parallel to the e hat one and e hat two directions. So again, I construct this triangle right here. Let's see. Starting at the base of f, I got something in the in the direction. Uh, in the, I guess it's the e hat 2 direction, and then I got something in the e hat 1 direction, or minus e hat 1 direction, like that, and these two vectors are tip to tail, so they add up to, to f right there. Now let me introduce this angle theta right here. Now theta is not given to us, I'm just sort of introducing it myself, just as a, a little reference. Now theta is this angle between the vertical and something aligned with the e hat 1 direction, so theta again Aligned with something, did I say vertical, I meant horizontal, and something in the e hat 1 direction. So theta is this angle right here on that vector triangle. And if I recognize that, I can easily write f in terms of, in terms of those, the pieces, in terms of theta. So for the e hat 1 component, which one's that? That's this one right here. I'm going to have a cosine theta just because it's the side that's uh, adjacent to this angle theta right there. So I got f cosine theta in the e hat 1. Actually it should be minus f cosine theta, right, because this vector is in the opposite direction of the e hat 1 basis vector. So this component should have a minus sign there. And then this other piece I have an f sine theta because that's the opposite side of the triangle. And since this component of f is aligned with the positive e hat 2 direction, I should put a plus sign right there. So there's my vector decomposition in terms of the theta. But again, theta is not given. So I have to write the vector decomposition in terms of A and B. But I can do that quite easily by making the father following observation, right? Here's the angle theta in my original triangle. And cosine of theta is just the, what, the adjacent side, B, divided by the hypotenuse, A squared plus B squared square root. Right, so here's an expression, an equivalent expression for cosine theta in terms of the a and b. And likewise, you can do the same thing with sine. And all I have to do now is make the substitutions into here, and then I should have a, a good answer. And that's what I've done right here. So there's my decomposition. There's my answer. Over and out.